In this video from CountLab, we're going to quickly demonstrate how to process a refund on your CountLab 2 cash register. So I've processed a sales transaction just now for £40 with £10 through Department 1, 2, 3 and 4. And I'm now going to show you how to refund £5 off Department 4 and then we'll have a quick look at how that appears on the end of day reports. So the refunds work in the sales position so you need the key in REG and all you do is press this button here marked Retour, press that once you get a minus symbol appear on the operator display then you enter the amount of the refund so in my case it's £5 and then you assign the refund to the correct department just like doing a sale and then crucially you need to press the method of payment um, that you are issuing the refund through. So mine is a cash refund, so I'm going to hit the cash button um, and get a receipt print out if you've got the receipt on, just like you would do with a sale, but it's a negative. And now let's take a quick look at what that looks like. We'll just do an X report. So I've already done £40 worth of sales, £10 through my first um, four departments, and then I've done that refund so we can take a look at how that renders on my X report so £10 department 1, £10 department 2, £10 department 3 and now a total of £5 in department 4 a total of £35 in total and it separates out the minus total there and crucially the cash in draw is correct because I made sure to do my refund via the cash button Okay, I hope that video has been helpful. We've got plenty more videos showing you how to get the best out of the CountLab cash registers. Some of those will be appearing on screen now, so you're welcome to check those out. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit countlab.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.